All right, what up YouTube? I'm here with John. What's up guys? John Uihara from Kauwila Motors. We're in Oahu, Hawaii, and we're uh, doing a little demo on these electric motion motorcycles. They're, they're electric trials bikes. One's kind of a hybrid. He's got uh, the race version on site here, which is their top-end trials bike, professional grade trials bike. And over here we got the Escape, which is kind of their uh, trials-like um, enduro. It's got a little seat on it. Uh, a little bit different gearing for higher top speed and I think a little bit more battery capacity. Yeah, more battery more capacity and we have a electric clutch on this one. The race one, we actually have a, yeah. a real diaphragm clutch, similar to any uh, gas bike you got out there. Cool, so I'm gonna give the both bikes a walk around and show you the kind of the different features on here. Yep. All right, so now we're on the uh, electric motion race. This is their top model and the trial stuff basically it has this uh basically a real clutch in it and there's a the attention to detail in these things are real nice so this is a machined case it's got a uh, renthal gold 428 chain on it looks like it's got renthal grips like these things are legit these aren't uh, chinese toys these are cool so we'll start here with the uh electric motion pure race um, and the difference between this bike and the more base model ones are under here we have a diaphragm clutch, correct? Correct. Yep. yep. So this is like a real clutch that you would find in like a motocross bike or any other normal dirt bike. And it works the same way. And they do that in the race model because in, in real trials you, you need a, a clutch to pop over obstacles and stuff. Yeah, so all the bikes, like a typical trials bike, has this little switch right here. Yep. And this guy. Safety your, kill in there. Crashing down the rocks. Yeah, we have a battery switch so right here. Turn it on Let's in the right front there. of the battery. And you hear that click, that's a relay starting up. And this is one thing you don't find on any other electric dirt bike. You can pull the clutch and, and you can give it throttle. And no go. No go. The minute you want the inch of torque, you just release it out. But I'm not I'm not killing the bike. There's no killing the bike with these electric guys. Yeah, no, it's just like a recluse where you can't kill it. It's just there for the assisting and popping you over obstacles. Yeah, we were, and just to give you an idea, we were, you know, motoring around for like 20 minutes. Yeah. We started at 99 and we're only at 94%. Yes. And so on this bike, efficient. he put this regenerative braking button on. So if you're going down a hill, you can push this button and it actually creates energy in the engine. You can feel the load on it. It's like a brake. Yeah. So that charges the battery up under braking. Yeah, so if you're going down a hard section, like a steep section, you don't want to, you know what, you don't want to burn out your brake, so you feel like the uh, the back brake is gonna lock up and you want it to just roll. You hit this, it'll allow you to roll, but at the same time giving you a little extra juice. Regen the battery. You just charge it straight from here. You have your on-off switch right here, like he, he showed earlier. But the the battery can also be removed very easily. You have three bolts down here on the case, and this battery actually just slides right out so if you wanna and it's it's totally sealed this by sliding the battery out you're not opening up the casing to any water damage or whatnot yeah. so washing the bike cleaning it or even just taking this in the house if you want to have your charger and uh not have the battery with the bike and these charge off standard 110 charge off standard which 110. is really nice it's a it's a 15 amp charger so the average from zero uh is about four hours and i think it'll go to 80 percent in like maybe two and a half hours yeah yeah and so just for some perspective on that if you were if you were wide open on this thing like ripping down the road you're you were getting like 30 miles of range yeah, it's, it's, it's uh rated for like 36 miles at yeah full power so let's say uh and maybe an hour and a half maybe an hour on the kind of conservative side for time but like riding it like we were here today, I literally am confident that I could have rode this thing all damn day and not wore the battery out. So just trail riding around on these things, like don't don't even worry about the battery time at all. It's literally a non-factor. Yeah, we're, we're taking out the range anxiety for people. <laughs> yeah, they're, do not be afraid of the range of these things. Full on motocross, which this is not gonna be doing, um, yeah, maybe maybe range would be an issue where you'd only get half an hour to 40 minutes, but that is not an issue on these bikes. You will ride these all day long without question. 
especially if you kept them in something like map one or two. I could see myself riding this in map two all day, uh, not even needing map three. And on this, you can definitely ride in map one and map two and not need map three. That map three is almost too much power. Yeah. Like, like I'm <laughs> not trying be, to be, be ready for it. I'm man. not trying to be a sissy, but it, it is snotty. It has a lot of power in map three. And especially with the clutch, you could no doubt stay in map one or map two. Yeah, I mean, and typical of the electric bikes too. You know, you have 100% of that torque and that power at your fingertips, like when you want it. There's right. No revving, you don't have to rev anything up. And so timing, you know, you, you ride it a little bit, you get that timing down, you can do a lot with these things. Yeah. You, know, you can go slow up things that you probably wouldn't even try. And I'll splice slow. that in, me going real slow on these things, crawling. I can go up this thing at a quarter mile an hour. And it will, at any time, you just crack the throttle and it will just deliver everything. Because there's no gears, so you don't have to have any gear selection. I would say, like, drag race. Um, equivalent if we got a gas bike and this or this other bike sitting out there in that field the drag race speed is probably the equivalent to a 250 F but when you put this bike with this gearing and you put it in map 3 it pulls every bit as hard off the bottom as like a 450 four stroke probably harder than a 300 two stroke yeah off the yeah off I the, mean off the line the the map comes on so quick in three i mean it pulls hard it, instantly the wheel will will stand on you it's it pulls amazingly hard i am crazy impressed with how hard they pull off the bottom so it's real mellow but at the same time if you need snot to take off it's just it's there it's now and that one has the clutch you could pop it you could loop that thing out and blow the fender off in in a second which is probably why it only has three screws to take it off yeah. yeah. We don't yeah. know how much the fenders cost yet, but I'm sure they're not too expensive. We made sure we brought some of these as replacements just <laughs> yeah. in case. Right. So these are right. these are demo guys, right? These are demo ones and we can do pre-orders and whatnot, but yeah, I pretty much ordered one of these and one of those uh, the rear fenders just because I knew someone it's guaranteed gonna come off at some point. <laughs> right. So if you guys are on the island of Oahu, definitely look this guy up. He's got his car parked over there with a trailer. You can bring him down here and you can you can pop some wheelies in the grass like I did. Try not to blow his fenders off. I'm not gonna pull another <laughs> pull another one of those videos out. So also on the race model, you get a little bit updated front brake and you get an updated rear wheel. It's more of a professional style uh, trials grade wheel where you don't have the spokes inside the wheel. They're on the outside. Uh, you get a little bit different gearing. And so you got a smaller counter shaft sprocket and, or a big, yeah. And a bigger rear sprocket so maybe like a 48 or 50 tooth on the back and it has significantly more torque I, I rode both machines which I'll splice in and this thing has some serious snot it's uh, it's almost incredible how much power this thing has and I would say that in the uh, red map like sheer just grunt off the bottom no doubt as much as a 450 motocross bike that is not an exaggeration, that's no shit. So fit and finish on this is really nice. This is the high-end fork that comes on the race. Uh, they call it the M4 fork, it's aluminum. Nice equipment. Everything on this fit and finish is pretty nice. Uh, I would say maybe the least amount of fit and finish would be these foot pegs. And even then, they're, they're wide enough, they're adequate, they're lightweight. What you can't see on the internet is that this is a, a cast aluminum swing arm. It looks like it's a tubular steel. Nice little brakes. The brakes work very well, powerful. Little rotors, billet hubs, um, high-end Michelin competition trials tires. I know there's some backlights so you guys can't see that. Um, Chromoly frame, very legit skid plate on this thing. Bash guard, whatever you want to call it. And it's rubber dampened under here. Probably better from the other side, but this is a burly ass skid plate. You can really smash that into stuff and not have to worry about your motor getting roached.
All right, so we'll get you guys the starting procedure here real quick. So he's gonna turn the bike on. Yep. First, you gotta put the kill switch in. Right? Uh, either way, it either doesn't way. matter. Yeah, you actually can put this on. Okay. It won't move without this, of course. And then you so come button up down in the front of the battery. Pop that on. And then it comes up. You can see the display fire up. Yep. And what we have is, see, we have like this kind of a bluish white light. And what will happen is, that's kind of like your safety, your startup procedure. So if you that's twist- neutral light. Yeah, so if you twist the throttle, at this point, you hear a little happened. beep. It won't. It won't move. It makes a little farting noise. Right. So you won't. Uh, you won't just loop out by leaning on the bars and whatnot. And every time you take this kill switch off, you will, it will go back to that light. When you want to move, you hit this map right here. That will put you in the green mode, the first mode, and then you can go off and do whatever you want. Blue mode is mid map. Mm -hmm. Red mode is high map. And these can be changed while riding. Yeah. So if you know you have a section coming up, you need a little more instant power. Push of a button. Push of a button and get to red. So go through the display here. Seconds. Oh yeah. And if you, uh, this turns off and on uh, randomly through the ride. And uh, the power button will show you what you have. Yep. And I do notice there's a little bit of variation in the battery. It's probably trying to predict how much battery you're going to use. So when I was riding around, it was at kind of 90%. But as we parked, it kind of settled on 95%. And when I hit the regen, I noticed it popped yeah. up a little bit. The, the too, regen so. actually, when when the bike is coasting, it's actually making a little bit of power, and you can feel it just in the in the drivetrain. Yeah, the It'll engine a drags a little bit. Yeah, um, but when you hit the regen button for the race, the regen button is here, which uh, is also like a, a regenerative brake. It's literally just a brake. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, on the escape is the lever. When you hit that regen. It will actually you will see the you will see the power bump up yeah a couple percent you know depending on how far you're going but a little bit here and there actually keeps you keeps you in that range for quite a long time in the top end all right guys so that's a quick recap of of what we did here today looking at these electric motion motorcycles check out this guy what's your name again yeah john uihara at kauwila motors run instagram and check us out we're gonna have a facebook and hopefully a youtube coming up pretty soon so stay tuned for that all right. so if you're on the island of oahu check this guy out yeah, you man. can you can try one of these out they are awesome top tier electric motorcycles not crappy chinese electric bicycles this is this is the legit stuff these are real machines competition ready so yeah, man, check thanks out. for coming out and uh for all you other island guys too i mean you know hit me up if you're on the island definitely come by just remember there's a supercross race coming up pretty soon in a couple months so hit right. us up ahead of time coming out for definitely uh, schedule uh, hawaiian something supercross for that. is happening yeah hawaiian nice. supercross I, and the monster truck guarantee is happening okay cool. so uh we'll Crap, definitely uh get something going for that maybe i can race that maybe <laughs> hey all right check you guys later uh thanks for watching and check out his stuff i'll link it below take hey, care guys. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, but it really is a real clutch. I mean, it's, well, right. a lot of people don't understand right. that. It's, it's so it's so crazy to think about it, and you'll hear it whine. Um, but then also, I mean, if you want, so, they also oh. have this. If you're if you're doing like a, uh, if, you, if you're actually using this in like a uh, trail situation or where you want to regen, mm -hmm. we added this button here, and this button is basically the same switch as the map switch, you know, same type of switch. But if you push this button. You also have the regenerative braking feel. So does it regen from this lever? Does it regen from its engine braking? It's engine braking, but it will regen just like the escape lever, uh -huh. but in the button. So you won't have, oh, so you you hold won't the have button. too much feathering effect, but when you push the button, it will break. So oh, okay. going down like a hard section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you kind of want to just roll, but you don't want to lock it up. Yeah. You can push that button instead. Okay. Yeah, because unlike a, unlike a clutch, a gas bike, you don't have to pull the clutch in to go downhill, you know? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so you have that option. Yeah, this is your rear brake on the, the downhill. Okay, yeah. I was I was curious about that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Here's green. So we'll stay in green for the moment. Shall I hold the clutch, Shall I hold the clutch in? And grab it. There you go. <laughs> your, your angles are a little different than mine. <laughs> So we're in, uh, we're in map one, and it'll pull the front wheel pretty easy, even in map one on on this bike with the gearing change. I'm pretty much leaning over the front, and it'll pull it. So this button on the side here, and my thumb, 
is the regenerative braking button. So that charges the battery up under braking. It's pretty cool. On the other bike, the clutch does the same thing. Yeah, this one, this one's got a lot more torque because of the gearing. So this is this is a steep little typical bank. We got that piece of cake. Hit the uh, blue map. Whoa! Woohoo! <laughs> oh man, this thing, this has got some balls, man. I would say like roll-on power, like actual torque, mm -hmm. when you're in this, I mean, it's still in the blue map, the second yeah, one. The second one, yeah, yeah. That pulls realistically about as hard as a 450. Yeah, torque no, wise? Yeah. Like just like, if you were just kind of rolling a 450 in like the correct gear, like second gear, and you just rolled that thing on, it pulls about that hard. Like I've ridden, you know, 2019 CR450s. So that was... That was surprising. He lifts the front wheel piece of cake. <laughs> so even this, like, and you can tell that by, I'll roll down this hill and then I'll just crack it open and it'll pull the front wheel going down this hill. Like, you would have to have a reasonable amount of power on a gas bike to do oh, that. Yeah, yeah. so light. Yeah, you would have yeah. to you would have to pop, pop the clutch. Yeah. So the power to weight ratio on this one because of that gearing is insane. <laughs> yeah, it just pulls the front wheel even going downhill. Man, and when you land, you land under power like it. It pulled hard underneath you. It's stiffen up the front end a little bit on this thing. And the brakes, the brakes are good. All right, here we go to the, here we go to red. Oh shit, yeah, this thing, this thing pulls, man. Yeah, cover the rear brake if you come from accelerate from a stop. <laughs> like in map three, if you were tired and like not paying attention, oh she'd go backwards. Yeah. And like this stuff, man, it'll just crawl this. Like you're going up a slippery bank or something? Don't let it fool you. It'll go right in the front wheel. <laughs> you expect it to like not have any more juice, but it's all there. Yeah. It's insane. Like if you bogged a gas bike out, it wouldn't have that. 
It just flat out wouldn't have that. I can go up this thing at a quarter mile an hour and it will, at any time you just crack the throttle and it will just deliver everything. Because there's no gears, so you don't have to have any gear selection. I'm expecting the front wheel to come up that high. <laughs> yeah, man, balls for days in that red map. Yep. It's all you want. It's, it's all you want and more. Literally, yep. literally all and everything you need. <laughs> I can't even imagine a situation where you would need more power than that. Yeah, this thing, actually, uh, the little hill climbs we did yesterday, yeah, just a, some short ones like this, but more like a loose pack dirt. Uh huh. Just no problem. Oh, especially if you like no put problem. it out in like map one where you just couldn't get wheel spin. Yeah, actually, most of the time we were in map one for the most yeah. part. Yeah, because we was, it was a little bit tighter situation. My only complaint is uh, suspension settings right now. Maybe put a little couple more bar in those. Hmm. This one's softer than that one at the moment. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> no. That is uh very surprising. So green map. Kickstand up. No gears, you don't have to click in gear. I was looking for a shifter. <laughs> I'll show you this regen button again here real quick. You can hear the engine engine braking. That was regenerating power. Yeah, this this thing has so much power. This is crazy. Totally legit brakes. Lady walking a dog over there doesn't even care. Simon's still in the first map. Back to red map. Watch the power in this thing. That's no clutch up. It's literally like dropping the clutch. Tons and tons of torque. Oops, I tried to shift it right there. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably ride it in map two most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> 